Hi guys, Michael with Open Book Build here. So today I want to share with you the really cool house plan that you see behind me here. The modern design has a ton of character, it's efficient to build, and could be a great way to bypass the crazy high building costs we're currently experiencing. Now despite having dropped 23% this month, lumber is still more than double the price it was just four months ago. So this home plan with oversized two car garage could make a great first phase to a custom home, essentially building the guest house to live in today while you plan for the building of the main house in the future. I love the idea of building this on that gorgeous property and then living in it while you oversee the construction of your dream home down the road when material pricing comes back down to earth. Now this efficiently sized space could also make a great rental unit once the main house is built. So let's talk a little about what makes this design efficient to build. Now we've got a slab foundation, so put a check in the affordable design column. And what would typically be the unused attic space above the garage is actual living space. So put another check in the affordable column. Now by stacking the living space above the garage, it's about as efficient as we can get from a cost perspective, right? We use the same foundation, the same roof framing, same roof over both spaces, saving some serious costs there. And as you guys know, staircases eat up quite a bit of space, but in this design, the stairs are on the outside to maximize storage in the garage and upstairs living area. Affordable? Check. Now this little plan design has some serious bling to it. We've got a modern railing on the stairs going up, a six foot deep, deep deck to extend your living space to the outdoors, and check out that simple shed roof that will be super easy to install a standing seam metal roof or whatever material you choose. No valleys, just one main roof plane that would be perfect for those solar panels. And how about all those windows that wash the main living space with tons of light? You could obviously cut down on some of these windows if you want to save some money, but this is a really nice design feature that will make a smaller space feel much bigger than it actually is. So let's get into the details of the design. It's a 650 square foot garage, so it's not small, with a 27 foot depth for larger trucks to fit. Or if you've got a car, there's plenty of space for a workshop. It's got an open concept living area with a kitchen island that makes the space perfect for entertaining. Now throw in a smallish bedroom and a full bath, and you've got yourself an awesome little space. And as I've said, this little custom design is very efficient to build from a labor and material perspective. And one of the other things I really like about this design for owner builders is the small size. Because we're working with less area, it totally makes doing some of the physical work yourself more feasible. You could paint the inside of this little home in a couple of days by yourself, or how about installing the interior trim, again, over a weekend. Luxury vinyl plank, installed by owner, put a check under the affordable column. Now this house design is available through a company called America's Best House Plans. I'll put the link in the, to the plan in the video description if you want more information. And yes, you can purchase the complete materials list for this home from the house plan company for just a couple hundred bucks, which makes it great for owner builders who really want to hit the ground running. So to wrap up this discussion, I think this modern house garage design is a great way to get a custom look and feel without breaking the bank. And if you're looking for a way to get started on your future custom estate without going all in with the current crazy high lumber market, this could be a great way to get started. Build the guest suite and garage now, and then build the custom dream home in the future when the market cools down. And by doing it in phases, you get to live in the, on the job site while the main house is built so it's easier for you to manage and prevent theft. Just make sure you run this idea by your local building department and community HOA to make sure they're okay with you building in two phases. I'm totally being honest here, guys, when I say I'm thinking about building this little house plan and storing a couple ATVs and jet skis in the garage. Sounds like the perfect life to me. So that's about it for today, guys. This is Michael Luckadoo with Open Book Build, and thanks for watching.